welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a little chilly. Oh, even when I'm not sitting on the floor, Mr. Man has to make himself known back there. That would be Alex. I'm in my craft room slash office. I have some coffee. And my Dollar Tree's have been a little slow. This is like over a week's worth of haul. I'm just making some room here on my desk, but let's get started. This is in no particular, go, go, go. In no particular order. It's just in different bags. Buddy, off my desk, please. Um, ew. I'm not sure what he had on his fur. Okay, I picked up Sorry, my nose itches. Some very cherry jelly bellies. You only get six in a box, but I really wanted them. I grabbed some magnets. I use these in crafting fairly regularly. These are pretty good strength wise. So I grabbed two packages and you get 14, 14 magnets in each package. And I will show, tell you, I also picked up the cat ribbon. I'm gonna make, um, I hand sew the magnets into a, a stretch of ribbon, and then I use it to hold my fabric when I'm cross stitching. And then I picked up just some pine salt. That's just some household cleaner. I'll leave out the crafty stuff and we'll put the things that need to go downstairs to the side. Okay, I needed a new sieve. I think these are called mesh strainer, sieve, whatevs. I had another one and it worked out fine except for started getting some rust on it. Um, so I just grabbed this one. I will tell you, fun fact, when I do my haul from Dollarama, there were many products I saw that we sell here at our Dollar Tree that they had at their Dollarama that was not a dollar. I know. Like more than. Oh, I found two of these. These are the smaller candy jars. So let me sit this way. And, or you can sit them up. And I thought these would be fun. For like my sugars and teas maybe for my coffee station i like to change things up on occasion and i like the size much better for that purpose or if you're going to be doing like a christmas bar a coffee bar anything like that i mean you can just buy them now and alex and put them to the side and then you'll have them for when the holidays roll around or in the summertime oh if you were having some kind of a barbecue or a cookout you could do um a s'mores bar and put like chocolate bars and marshmallows in those and then have sticks and graham crackers like that would be so much fun um i don't eat any of that stuff so there is that okay what do we got in here Oh, I found one more of the chapstick lipstick in the very pretty pink and pretty in pink. And this has the SPF 15 in it for anybody who knows I am going to be advocating for sunblock. And I thought that would be super fantastic. Also your receipts. If you have not signed up for fetch rewards, my link is below. I think you get 2000 points or something like that. And I get 2000 points and that's a good kickoff to getting some gift cards. So there's that. I grabbed a duster. I enjoy these. Let me show you how this one works. So it, Alex, can you get off my desk? These are fantastic little dusters. And then when you wanna store them away, the handle just snaps down, but listen, it snaps in place. And these are fantastic for like my office in here, but also for mini blinds. Think about that. I think that is pretty cool. No, you're not laying on my desk, buddy. Go over there, go lay down. Go lay down, yes, I know. Oh, no, no, get down. 
he wants to lay on my desk all the time. Get down, buddy. Get. I know you don't want to, but you're going to. It's always on my desk. This is also a good thing for my desk to get, which is normally what I use them for. Um, I grabbed one more of these because I can't find the third one that I bought. I'm doing some gift bags for my niece. She and her friends are going to Florida this summer and I'm giving each of them. This is Sport 30. It's great for your face for sunblock. So they're each getting one of those. And I couldn't find the third one. Um, in here, I got some more fabric. I've been showing you these fabrics that I've been finding and I'm kind of obsessed. So this is, I'm going to put these two together to make like a bag or something. And it's orange on the outside and white and orange, but it's like a linen-y fabric. I may even use these to make a crafting mat. I saw somebody at my stitching retreat that had a mat. So I grabbed those two, um, this green, because I love it. I think I have more fabric down here too, but I like this green and then this boho. We're gonna open this one up because I think this is fun. And typically what I will do just as a side, if you're gonna store this fabric, I would take this sticker off minimally because it will leave a residue at some point on your fabric and it's gross. Um, but what I tend to do is open it up, iron it, and then fold it into like a square. And that way I can see the whole picture of what the fabric is gonna look like. And then I have it all tidied up. <gasps> this is so boho, I love it. So I might find like a white or a yellow to go with this. I don't know, that's a fat, a fat quarter is what these are called. So it's a quarter of a yard of fabric, but it's cut different than if you ordered, if you went into the store to get a quarter of a yard of fabric. Um, you'd have to ask for a fat quarter and it's just how it's cut. Because I think they use a whole quarter of a yard instead of just a quarter of a yard circular. It's hard to explain, but there is a difference. So I grabbed some more fabric and I know I have a little bit more somewhere over here. Let us, let us see what we can come up with that. Oh, that is definitely not Dollar Tree related. And like I said, this is not a big haul because unfortunately, um, I just haven't really found any new stuff. Now this bag though here, I got in New York on my way to Canada. I stopped at a different Dollar Tree way out of state just to see if I could find anything there. And of course, another receipt. Um, in New York, you have to use your own bags. Well, you don't have to, or you have to buy one. I did find one of these and it just says bunny bait, fresh carrots. And I thought this was adorable. So we're definitely going to um, utilize this. Sorry, my computer was doing something funny. We're gonna utilize this in some decorating. And then for summer, I found some stuff. Oh, I grabbed some white duct tape. I ripped one of my bags and I need to fix it. So I got some white duct tape. And then I got one of these straws that I just think is fun. And it comes with a straw brush, which I mean, we can always use those, but I liked this and I like the little rainbow heart and I like it. And this is silicone. Yeah, it's all, I'm looking up under here, it's all silicone. So this is like squishy rubbery and then a plastic straw. So I thought that was fun. We'll put that with the kitchen stuff for the summertime. You know, when you go to the pool or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if I hauled this or not, so I had to make sure. And it just says coffee cash. It's a little bank and then you can put change in here or coins or I might put it on my coffee bar and just let it sit there, but it's coffee cash. I love these and I like the silver. It's silver glitter, but I'm fairly certain it's not like there's no fallout or anything. Should we do our thumbnail? Oh, let's get that out of the way. Guys, I'm tired from coming back from my trip just a few days ago. I'm not quite there yet. Um, also for the summer, I got this. It just blow up decor and it's a pineapple and you blow it up and I thought it would be fun at the pool. I have a pool here in my condo if you didn't know. 
So we'll put these back here because they can go down the stairs. All right, let's see what else I got. I got two more bags. I picked up this 11 by 14. It's the hard canvas because I want to try and I love this bunny. It reminds me of the Cadbury bunny. And I'm thinking if I paint this background, I can attach the bunny to this canvas and some of the some of the eggs and flo and floral on here, like paint this white or an egg crew color and then go over it or do like blue in the background and some green down here. Put the bunny and then some of the decor around the bunny and make it like a little happy Easter sign. I thought that would be something fun if I get, have the time to try. Um, because I really think that bunny is totes adorbs. Um, and what it will require is painting this whatever and then Mod Podge, sticking this to the Mod Podge and when it's all dry, go over it again with Mod Podge and then everything will stick. We'll leave that up here because that is a crafty bit that I will be handling upstairs. Okay, and I know I have more, so... Well, I'll show you the other stuff at a different time. I don't know where I put it. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I got another Jelly Belly in the Cherry. Ooh, and I got a Skittles. And this one is Original Fruit Punch. I love the red. So that, oh, I got some Curad. These are some gauze pads, but I think they're gonna be too small. I have where I, here where I had my stitches, like where they removed the um, pre-cancer, which came back, the boundaries were all clear. It's all gone, it's done. But I got a little infection going on in there. And so she wants to, me, me, she meaning my dermatologist wants me to keep it covered during the day. And then at nighttime, I can let it air out. Um, I found a little one of these, which is Justice League's, they're just little squish me thingies, but it's Wonder Woman. Like, I'm sorry, what? So I grabbed that. I thought it would be super cute here on my desk or I could take it to the office. And it's just a little squishy, like a little squishy toy, but it's adorable and it will sit on my desk with Gloria. You know, here is what is super exciting to me. This is premier brand, color changing cotton thread, cotton yarn. And I think I'm pretty sure it's like a worsted weight. It doesn't really say, but it is Premier Yarns. It's, I don't, I'm trying to put it in the window to see if I can get it to turn. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, it's too cloudy out. But this one turns this color yellow. And then they have this one that in the sunlight turns like a yellow and white barber pole stripe. And then they had it in the pink and white barber pole stripe and a solid pink. So yellow and pink, which I think, hi, you stop, which I think will be so fun. So I grabbed another set of each color because I'm gonna come up with a pattern and I'm gonna crochet like a blanket, but not really, it's gonna be for my front window. The boys like to lay in that window in the summertime. And um, so I'm gonna crochet like a blanket of different. And when the sun comes in, it will change colors because that's all it does. And then it goes back and this is called chameleon. And I know that they are selling this in like acrylic yarn at Michael's, I think, or Joanne, but it's premier brand acrylic color changing yarn. And like I said, this is 100% cotton. And then I think there is a pattern. Yeah, there's a, it just says Premier, thank you for choosing to craft with Premier Yarns. And then there's like a measuring on the inside. I need to make sure though that I tape these together. So let's do that now. Just, oops, grabbing the tape. My tape just, ow, my tape dispenser out. I 
cut my finger because I won't know what color is what, right? How am I gonna know these things? And then, like I said, I got another, I have another set of these. It must be downstairs somewhere, but I grabbed another set because I really wasn't quite sure how much I would need to make something large enough for the front window. So I have two of each of these that I will work on a project someday soon because I would like it for the summertime. Now, I got some, some note stuff like I do. So I grabbed this to do, and I bought this because A, I like the copper. Alex. Um, I like, okay, nobody wants to see your tushy, go. But it's a notebook that opens this way. So not this way. And then there are little sheets that says, today, tomorrow, whenever. So they're just to-do lists and they separate. You can tear them. They are serrated. So I can like pull off a note as I write on them. So they're like to go to go to uh, to go to do notes, which I think is super fun. So I grab that because I'm forever writing lists of things that need to be done, right? And then I found these, and these are, let me get them all together. They're by Greenbrier, Greenbrier brand. And each one of them is a journal. These are journals, guys. And this is a one of a kind, a guided journal to celebrate all that you are. And in this journal, it's every day there's like writing prompts. So, hello, my name is, or on this page, you put the date and how, like you date it and how you're feeling. Every day there's a different page. Okay, so these are all the same in here. At the beginning you have different prompts, but then at the back, every day, how are you feeling? Uh, a little thing that brought you joy today. What did you do for recovery for my, rec oh, what did I do for my recovery today? Today's highlight, today's low moment, and your notes. And that's, it asked you the same question. And it is, this journal is a place to celebrate all the amazing things you do and all the wonderful things you are. It's a space to fill with good thoughts and kind words, words of love and appreciation, joy and gratitude. Turn these pages and discover your inner light. Let it shine. So that's this one. And then this one is the five minute gratitude journal. Give thanks, practice positivity, find joy. And in this one, I woke this morning with devout thanksgiving for my friends, the old and the new, Ralph Wallow Emerson. And then on this one every day, it says, I'm grateful for, today I will choose, no, today I will conquer and overcome, uh, affirmation I am, and you put a positive, what were three big wins today? Biggest challenges and lessons learned and a habit tracker at the bottom. And so you have every day. I don't, it doesn't say how many pages are in here. Then you have some notes at the back. I mean, I don't, it doesn't really say, there's no numbered pages, but I thought that was fantastic. And this is a guided journal for healing, hope and daily care. And it says, um, just for today, so just for today. And then every day it asks for today's mindful moments. Oh, and it just has mindful moments. And then how I practice mindfulness this week. So it's a weekly, a weekly journal. And then at the here, how did you practice this week? I thought these were really lovely and i think these would be fantastic in an easter basket mother's day anything like that you have three separate ones to choose from they are greenbrier so they should be at everybody's store and i think i just think they're wonderful and i really think people would appreciate having some type of a gratitude journal or some type of daily mindfulness to look on I think that's great. 
So that is everything I was able to find. Oh, my hair. That was everything I was able to find this week at the Dollar Tree. I'm coming up. I'm going to have some videos starting next week of my trip to Canada. At this point, I'm back. I just have to edit my videos and get them up and loaded. So next week, you're going to see a little highlight of my trip. You're going to see all the stuff that I purchased at the retreat. And then you're going to see a haul um, a, from Dollarama, the fantastic store from Canada that I went to. So that is everything. And if I can help you in any way, please leave a comment below and I will talk with you later.